friends hello and welcome back it is nhl 21 season and we all gotta try out the nice new fancy deeks that are out there right so today we're gonna do our best to try to explain and show you guys the controls to doing said deeks we use the controls down below or try to explain in the video whichever way works best for you guys here starting off with the windmill deke the one of the easier deeks if you want to hold on your pack can you just click the stick and LB at the exact same time directly to the other side of the ice. So if you're coming up on the left side of the ice on your forehand, you're going to start with putting the putt or the stick at the nine o'clock position. You're going to hit LB and you're going to push it directly to the three o'clock position like so. Now that was really slow and looked really sloppy. You're going to want to, you can, you can practice it that way if you want, or you can just, you know, go balls to the wall and say, let's just try it right off the bat going down the ice. Either way, it's an easy deep to perform. You just skate into the puck once you get it such like that. And then you go bang bar down or hit the side of the goalie such like that as well as far as the spinorama is concerned an easy move especially now that the lt cutting has been so popular in uh, last year's game is you just tap the l2 button or the lt button and bang spinorama top shelf thanks for playing again bottom shelf didn't go too well there then there is the jump deke the jump deke another one touch deke, one touch deke coming up the ice you're just gonna go ahead and press lb and up on the right stick directly up such like that and you're gonna perform the l the jump deke there we'll try to get we're gonna get on that goal oh we almost had him there it's almost like trying to get that session in there but actually doable then there is the skate kick now the skate kick is again easy one here lb and then directly down lb directly down it's a one touch deke in an essence there. i guess it's not really one touch using a right stick but it is you press lb slash l1 i should say that as well playstation controls lb slash l1 and then down on the right stick and it'll bounce right off your skates like so and there is the toe drag now the toe drag you can do on your forehand or your backhand now, if you're holding the puck on your backhand so if you're left-handed you should clear that up as well if you're using a left-handed player backhand is holding the puck to the right forehand to the left opposite controls if you're using a right-handed controller there as far as the stick movements are concerned but if you're using a left-handed play hold on the back hit at three o'clock you just rotate it directly down all the way around to nine o'clock rotate it don't click it straight back and forth but rotate at three o'clock all the way around the bend to nine o'clock and then if you want to go from a forehand toe drag you're going to start with the puck nine o'clock all the way around to three o'clock like so then there is the ever so lovely Datsuk flip, or is they called in this game now the 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 what do they call it the fake shot flip i think that's the word they got it called in this game so what you're gonna do is first off you're gonna click in the right stick so i guess it makes sense because you go to the fake shot such like that you're gonna pull up that fake shot animation and then once you got that fake shot going you're gonna instantly pull back and then rb back rb now you're gonna want to actually come in at the goalie and not the corner of the ice there but we're trying to do it nice and slow there to understand so coming in clicking the right stick pull it down and then rb it and hold it you want to hold it for just a second if you don't hold it long enough your guy won't flip it high enough you want to hold it in for i, I don't know i think we hold it in well let's get an idea here real quickly we'll try to look at the hash marks here well how long we hold it in so if we hold it right there too early but it gets the flip off i think i'd say that's probably about the distance we do hold in the rb button if that makes any sense at all there for about a quarter of a second they're just long enough to get it to flick in the air if you don't hold it long enough again your guy's just gonna you know the little bump in the air and it's not gonna go high enough to get over the goalie something again you'll get used to it once you practice it a couple times there as far as how the flick is concerned right there when it comes to the datsuk shot you're gonna do exactly the same thing you just did for the flip where you go ahead you click the right stick in the fake shot you pull the stick back but instead of pressing rb you're just gonna shoot you're gonna push up on the right stick the shoot button is up on the right stick so that means you're gonna come in here you're gonna go click in the right stick pull it backwards and then push up on the right stick to shoot the puck like so hey we scored there how about that one more time in on the right stick pull it straight back and then bang that was definitely not what we was looking for there we'll give you a one actual legitimate try there in on the right stick pull it back and then bang top shelf got him and then one of the other recently added deeks to the game was the between the legs deke like so now to do the between the legs deke it is pretty simple once you get used to it you're just going to push the lb and right on the or in on the right stick at the exact same time so lb l1 and then in on the right stick if you want to pull it out you just let go of the right stick in out in out in out looks fantastic right that is definitely a hockey maneuver there and then if you want to pass the puck from between the legs same maneuver left bumper in and then you're going to press while this puck is still between your legs like this you're just going to press r t slash r2 to pass it just like you would if you were to pass the puck without the puck between your legs it is the same button to pass there in on a right stick 
left bumper L1, and then RT uh, R2 once it's between your legs and behind you. Then there's the between the legs shot, which again, same animation as prior, except for just holding it there, you're gonna push up on the right stick. Just like you do with the Datsuk, you do the deke and then you push up on the right stick to make the shot happen. That was a beautiful shot right there. That somehow went from behind us to in front of us between the legs. That's like a trick shot right there. If we could pull that off, that's like a shoot in real life. And then we have the other variation of the between the legs deke. This one being where you literally take the puck behind your, uh, behind your body here, such like this, and then you pull it between the legs to the front of you like so. For this again, it is important to make sure your stick is in the proper position. You need to have the stick pulled back behind you far enough on the forehand that you can pull it back in front of you between the legs here. Now that's key, just make sure when you're pulling that stick, winding it up, make sure you got enough distance between the front of your body and you know where the puck is behind you. That way you have enough room to go ahead and then once you got the puck pulled back, that way you're gonna hit LB and you're gonna click it up on the right stick and you want it to go right up around that 12, one o'clock area and it's gonna push it right between the legs just like that. And you're gonna go ahead and pick the puck right back up there. I think the hardest part of this deke personally for me is always just making sure you got the stick pulled back far enough and you have enough speed at the same time. You can't go slow or just, you know, kind of go non wonky wonky all over the place, not where it belongs. You gotta make sure you have enough speed, make sure you have the puck behind you enough. And then you have to make sure you just push the puck or push right back up on the right stick while pushing LB slash L1 there, and you'll pick the puck right up like so. Now for the sweep deke, what you're gonna do again, you're gonna hold the puck in your backhand, and then you're gonna press LB, you're gonna push both sticks towards each other, and you'll see yourself attempt to move, and then once that happens, you'll quickly move the right stick back to the outside. So it's gonna look a little bit like this. Uh, back, oh, we're gonna go look. Man, Patrick Kane is just too quick for this. The man flies up and down the ice. We thought his deking would make it easier to, you know, do examples, but he just zooms down the ice where you can't do it slowly and try to explain it at the same time. So here we go. We're going to pull a backhand. We're going to hit LB, both sticks in, and then push the right stick back out. Do nothing with the left stick. You ain't got to push it anywhere. And it's just the right stick that has to go back out. So backhand, LB, both sticks in, and then pull the right stick back out. You see, we didn't push the right stick out that time, and the puck just stood there. That's kind of an idea of, you know, you're not doing something proper with the right stick. LB both in and then push the right stick back out essentially what the right stick's doing there is taking a puck and pushing it back to your outside so you can pick the puck up so it's puck three o'clock push them both in to three and six on the inside and then push the puck right back to the outside with the right stick so the last time here puck on a backhand lb both sticks towards each other and then push the right stick back out you're going to start at the three o'clock position and you're going to push the right stick to the six o'clock position and the left stick to the three o'clock position and when you push the right stick back it's going to go right back to that three o'clock position to complete the deke there and then as far as the behind the back deke is concerned, it's very similar to the behind the back when you have to throw it between the legs as far as stick positioning is concerned, where you want to pull that stick down to that six, seven o'clock position there to make sure it's again far enough behind your body to go ahead and whip it behind you like so here, where then you're going to take the right stick and you're going to fling it all the way around to the right and you're going to take the left stick and push it out, kind of seeing the motion where the sticks are right here. And then as it's, you know, continuing to rotate, they're going to both put or both sticks push opposite each other here both pushed out and then once you have that completed that, that is when you need to take the right stick and push it directly up we got a little bit of an angle on it it made it work still it works best around that 11 12 o'clock range you take the right stick you push it up the reason you have to do that is because your player needs to reach for the puck so again both sticks when it's behind your back both sticks go opposite each other right stick goes to the right left stick goes to the left while holding lb once the animation is performed such as this that is where you take the right stick and push it back up straight towards the puck that is the goal there to push the puck to yourself and then pick the puck up like so there and you have completed the behind the back deke then there is the one-handed deke and the one-handed shot now here what you're going to do is hold your puck or hold the puck on your backhand around three o'clock hit lb rotate up all the way to the nine o'clock position with your right stick and you're going to do the motion just like so. Now it's again one of those things you don't really have to do anything with the left stick, but it's a right stick thing. Hold it on the right or backhand LB, rotate it all the way to the six o'clock position. Your player will do the move just like so. Now, once again, if you're on the your right-handed skater, instead of holding the puck to the right side at three o'clock, you'd hold it to the left side at nine o'clock because your backhand would be on the opposite side. And then you would rotate it all the way around to three o'clock if you was right-handed again would recommend trying everything at left-handed first then flipping it around probably easier that way to follow along there 
Bang, got it. All right, then there's the one-handed shot. Now, I feel like it's easier than the one-handed deke, personally. It's, again, same story here. Backhand, forehand, whichever you want to hold it on. But you're going to hold the puck on your backhand here for the shot. You're going to get close. You're going to hit LB and RB at the exact same time when you got your puck on your the backhand. And you're going to take that shot. So, backhand, LB, RB, and bang. Now, if you practice this a lot, you'll realize it's a little bit of a glitch goal in this game. Is it still a glitch goal this year? Let's take a look here. I would imagine so. You come on in and you just go, yeah, yeah, it's still like, how about it? Right there. We bounce it off the post. Maybe it's less accurate this year. That'd be kind of be nice if it wasn't all one-handers. It looks like the goalie might respond just a little bit differently to it this year. We'll see if he responds the same way in the forehand. You hold it forehand and then LBRB just like, so yeah, it bounces off the side of the post a lot more. Unless that's just random luck here for us in the free skate usually it doesn't go that way yeah it looks like it's a little bit more inaccurate this year so that'd be nice less spamming of the one and we'll see if that plays through if it's just the practice mode thing or we're just getting unfortunate with that one right now at the moment then we have the Sashnikov deke now there's nothing easy about this deke i promise you you'll be standing behind your net like you're playing a game of twos in nhl 14 waiting for the ai to attack you all day trying to practice this one but what we're learning here is, you know, best position. You want to get about, I want to say, you know, it works best. We've seen the most successful attempts. Well, your body's about right where, you know, if you were to go straight to the post, you'd be sore a little bit. In other words, one leg on each side of the post here. And then when you got the puck, now you got to realize the thing about the session cub, you can practice it in kind of like segments here to get the puck down low to flip it up on your stick like you would you're going to go ahead and hold the puck on your forehand so about three uh what is that we're going to get our clock right properly i feel like we said the clock wrong a lot this game we're going to go ahead and put it at clock position don't worry the 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 stuff down low where the controllers at that's the proper if we do say three or six backwards understand that we do have the arrows and stuff in the right position down there forehand so nine o'clock position so you're going to go ahead you're going to hold on your forehand nine o'clock position and you're going to click in the right stick on your forehand while you have it like that like so while hitting lb at the same time you're going to make the animation like this forehand lb click it in forehand lb click it in you're going to see your guy kind of go up there and say yep let's go ahead and put it in that seshnikov motion and that's where you're gonna you're gonna have to get puck down where it is and you're going to say where the stick's at you know that nine eight o'clock position you're currently holding it you want to try to quickly rotate it from that nine eight o'clock to around four three o'clock again you're going to click in the left stick with lb and then you're going to or l1 your preference there and you're going to go ahead and rotate the stick down to about the four three o'clock position like so bang and nah nah it's not gonna happen it is one of the most difficult and just the success rate of making it work in this game it is very very low and you're gonna you're gonna practice this a bazillion times you're gonna have a hard time see that was a perfect setup right there it went right up the stick went up right behind the back of the net that's where you want it to be the problem is how hard it is for the player to go ahead and pick the puck up and make that shot. Now, if they ever make an easier way to do this, we'll try to do a tutorial on it. But in truth be told, it is a very difficult deke to make happen here. That's how you do it. You just have to get your guy to properly pick up the puck, which is something that is beyond difficult to have happen in this game. As hard as it is, or as long as it takes to make the move happen, I wouldn't mind it being in the game like that. Like, go ahead and follow the player. See how long it takes to do that. As long as you can hit the puck off the guy easily, I imagine that's what would be difficult difficult in this game to make the success rate higher than it is because you obviously don't want it to be something that's like oh look how easy it is to do this so it is a little bit more difficult for that reason right there see if we can pull up the pause menu real, real quickly just to give you an idea where our sticks are right here as you can tell kind of got the stick bent beautiful bend in the stick beautiful flex just what you need but no we got the you can see the right stick where the little dot is it's a little under the nine o'clock eight o'clock position right where you want it and then when you animate it through, you're going to rotate the right stick just like so quickly all the way to, again, that four-ish position there if you can. But again, it's it's a difficult move. You got to practice it. It's going to take some work there. But that's just the basics on how to do it. All right. Now for the Kucherov, we're going to try to break this down into segments to hopefully simplify it a little bit here. What you have to do is, first of all, you have to get into the stride deke form or animation to do a stride deke what you do is you skate down the ice and then you glide now make sure this is understood you glide you don't push down on the right stick to speed burst you have to be able to you know that's why they call it like a stride deke right you slow down you glide so you got to make sure you're gliding almost like you're coasting i guess you can practice it that way first so that would be easier and that is when you go ahead and you go into that stride deke animation and on a four-handed player like patrick kane you're going to push the putt or the left stick to the 
six o'clock position or nine o'clock position just like so here and then you're going to see him kind of when he does that you, you see him kind of i guess stride dig best way to explain it i don't know what else you want to call it you'll notice the difference though when you do the stride dig if you speed it up real quickly you'll notice how your player does this little stridey animation like that if he doesn't do that then you haven't properly got into the animation and then once completed in that animation that's when you're just going to push the right stick back to backhand quickly quickly click it to the right and you're going to see the guy kind of going that little animation where you pull the stick that way it starts to let the puck go push it in whatever and you can get that animation off there to tuck it in on the goalie there and then finally to do the chip deek what you're going to do whether your forehand whether your backhand your preference here if you're on your backhand that's what we're going to go here you're going to put your puck on the backhand you're going to hold lb and then you're going to press the pass button it's going to flick it up just like so there so essentially it's like uh you know just a regular pass but adding the deek button in there as long as you're holding it on the a backhand or b forehand there so forehand looks like that backhand looks like this now obviously it looks kind of weird in free skate like this it's something that is more experimental around actual players we're going to learn more of how you can effectively get around players but that is the basics of how to do set move though backhand lb and then right trigger slash r2 there for playstation my apologies again if we are calling a playstation controls out try to do the best we can to remember it so hopefully this stuff was understandable for you guys and helped you out. Try to do our best to explain it as per the usual. As for this video though, guys, if you did enjoy it, if you did find it helpful and you'd like to consider subscribing, I'd appreciate it. Otherwise, no big deal. Thank you guys for watching and we will see you next time.